Welcome back, travelers. It is Slider Havoc here, and we are back on. Yeah, I'm. I'm still here. <laughs> we are back on Modern Skyblock Three, and something funny happening. Um. Hmm. Well, that's unique. So yeah. So <clears throat> we. When we left off, I was talking about getting these guys set up, and now I've got them all set up. I've upgraded this one over to the iron casing, and we're starting to get some decent amount of resources. Not a lot. Like, I need to make up some more redstone, but I've got a decent amount of gunpowder. I've got a ton of flint over here. Not a ton, but 160 of it's not bad. To make up some more gunpowder whenever we need to. Those to make the redstone. So, I'm just kind of getting stuff organized over here and all that stuff. I did get a couple things done in the meantime, mostly because I don't find it to be all that interesting. I got going on uh, some of the uh, agricraft stuff, right? So I already had um, like potatoes and I made some carrot seeds with potatoes and regular seeds, um, wheat seeds, got the carrots. Those gave me some red mushrooms and then I still have yet to get brown mushrooms over here. I don't know if it's this torch or what it is. I'm not hundred percent sure. Um, it could be, I don't, I don't know. But this one has not been growing, but hopefully it'll grow soon. Hasn't been going for that long. Um, also, we made up a couple of the items. So we went through a couple of the quests. Uh, made myself some snad, as well as made some, myself some compressed snad, uh, just to start growing like cactus and stuff on it. Don't know. I mean, it's not really necessary per se, but um, like to record it. I mean, I just, a lot of the stuff is stuff everybody's seen a whole bunch of times. And so I just thought, you know, maybe just kind of do those ones off camera. So, yeah, we did that. Now, this guy, <clears throat> the life infuser. I uh, I had started recording, and then my audio um, went out. I don't know what happened. Uh, I was double-checking, and audio went out because I was doing some research trying to figure out how these things work, and then I finally found out how it worked. So this thing's kind of cool, right? Whatever goes in your shield hand here, um, and then basically the other one. It, it turns out it's a multi-block structure. So I was like, oh, how do I look that up? So went to Sky Resources, uh, found it way down here. So I think I was getting a little ahead of the game there. Um, and as you can, well, I guess it was already over here. I already selected it. Um, there's a multi-block structure, but it's got this dark matter block, which we can't even make yet. So with that being said, wasn't gonna happen. But it's a pretty cool little looking setup. Um, you've got the basically wood planks and then the life infuser with some more wood planks and then leaves around the stark batter block and a button on top. And you can basically do life infusion using this st this thing, the health gem. Health gem, um, basically, <clears throat> yeah. Something we can't make yet either. Oh, yeah, no, because we can't, we don't have the chorus flowers yet. That's something we got to make through the pop or uh, popped coarse fruits on a mushroom. We'll give us that. And then we can make that thing, but that's that's out of the path right now. We wanna we wanna stick to the book. So I did just get done doing these when I realized I should probably start recording again. Um, these stone storages and these dent stone storages. So part of what we need to do for the quest book over here is make dense stone storages and candle berries. And we need 64 of them. So I was just trying to get that done. We got the first accomplishment done and I've been smelting up a whole bunch of stone and glass to get this done. And I think, oh, there it is. Oop. I think I should have enough resources now. This is all stone to get these finished up. So, I've got these. I need the storage upgrade. This guy right here. And I've already made eight. So why am I short? Um, I feel like I should have more of these. I don't have enough stone or cloud. Oh, I don't have enough stone on me because the rest of it's in here. That should be enough. I think so I'm pretty sure I should have, should have had enough. Um, well, where'd you, hey, why'd you do that? Why are you doing that? It's like freaking out. Hold on. Something's going on. Oh, there we go. There we go. There's so, okay. So 50 of those. I already have what? Eight. No. So I need more. What, what am I missing here? What am I missing? I need six more. What six am I missing here? 
There's some glass that I probably should put some fuel in to cook. Um, where I've got some. So that'd be 24 of those right here. I thought I had enough material. I need eight more. 58. How many do I have left? Six more. So it means I need 20 pieces of glass. Uh, 24 pieces of glass. It's four per. And 24 pieces of stone. Got that. And how much am I cooking up? Ah, yeah, th that's where my mouth was. There's the other 24 right there. Okay, I knew I had my mouth right, but basically just prepping for those. That's all I'm really doing. I'm just going to submit those. Um, they're actually pretty cool little storages. I got to say, the automation on them, I kind of like. Uh, or not automation, but animation. When you stick it down, let me get over here so I can barely click on it. Oh, uh, you can still barely see it. But, oh, you can see it with closing. But, yeah, I think that's just really cool. It's a decent amount of storage. Um, not for the work. But, well, I guess the work for one of them is not that bad. But I just thought those were kind of nifty. Yeah, so we did get that accomplishment done in the storage. I just, in here, I just uh, begin the 64 for the progression. Uh, but I do want to start getting some more of these done, right? So we've got the silver chest, the gold chest, the diamond chest, and the crystal chest. I'm pretty sure we can do those right now. So um, a silver chest is made from the iron chest or the copper chest. I think I need the iron to make the gold. And so I, I, I might just go what I might do here. Okay. Let's go swap these out real quick. And we're going to make silver. Oh, wait, there we go. And I got to make up some silver now. So that is um, a dust I have to make. So let's look up the silver. Um, what is that called? Alchemical. Silver alchemical dust. That's cordius tin. Silver. So silver is sugar and blaze powder. Okay. Well, we just got one sugar. Now we have two sugar. I don't know what's going on with this over here. This is so funny. Um, I, I You got me on that one. But let's make our sugar. And what was the other part? Uh, blaze powder. Okay, so two to one. So... Let's get six of these and make you guys over here like so. Silver, cool. Making that, making things happen. As long as I have enough to make eight ingots to make the chest, we should be good. There we go. Perfect. And get you going in there. Do you not? Oh, I need more. Okay. Well, thanks for letting me know. Okay, there you go. Get that going. So I guess I can kind of just stand here and wait for these. I don't know how long it's going to take. I turn it back on. All right, cool. Not too long, not too bad, but uh, yeah, so we'll get the silver. I've got the gold on me. So we've got enough gold to turn the iron chest into a gold chest. And then the gold turns into the diamond. Diamond turns into the crystal. So we're all good with that. I got the glass go. We're good to go there. Now I just need six more pieces of silver. And as a matter of fact, let me, I got a crafting, I was like, I got a crafting table right here. Uh, let's turn this iron chest into the gold chest. There we go. And then I believe it's six glass, two diamonds to turn this into a diamond chest. Or is it all diamonds? Let's look. The diamond chest. Yeah, six glass. Oh, I can do it with the silver chest with three diamonds. And... Does it have to be the specialty glass or can it just be clear orange dang glass? No, just regular glass, which is better. The gold and then make the silver. I think, I think I shall put the gold chest right here like so. And apparently that was the achievement. Oh, stop that. All right, cool. And we'll take our silver. Can't be. I was like, you can't be done yet. All right, there's your eight silver. And I can take that to I think this chest and make it the silver chest. There we go. And I've got glass done over here. So we'll just, we'll just do that later. And uh, grab our three diamonds here and make this into the diamond chest. And then, did I get credit for that? Okay, gold chest. 
Did I get my diamond chest? Did I get credit for my diamond chest? I did, okay. And then we'll make this into the crystal clear chest. Or crystal chest, whatever it's called. Cool, got that. And then the obsidian chest, I don't feel like making obsidian. Can't lie. Just not in the mood to uh, smelt down some uh, blaze powder blocks and make some obsidian. So we'll just kind of stop at that point for right now. And we will put you right here. I do like this chest, the fact that you can see stuff in it. I think that's really, really cool. But uh, not... Not so big about it right now. Um, yeah, so we'll put you there. And gold, you get all your metals back, right? Make sure I'm putting everything back in there. Like so. Cool. Silver, you keep doing your thing. You seem to be making quite a bit. And you've got five more coming. So, there we go. Got that done. Let's go ahead and put stone back in here. Glass, because I'm going to need that in the future. And cool. So, we got some some stuff done there um so yeah let's claim up all these loot chests and then we'll see what else we can kind of do i want to look more at the basic automation stuff um and uh possibly looking into making a automated mob farm that's definitely something i want to look into um and i know that it's got to be obviously a target goal when it's a whole bunch of um, mob drops for, I think it's this one. Yeah, rib bone, catalyzing gland, zombie heart, sugar canes, and nether wart. So this is something we're growing right now. Um, I am actually growing that on some soul snad. Did make myself some soul snad. And so that's going there. Sugar canes going there. So that might be the next place to take a look at here. So basic automation, some of the other stuff we can do. Let's check out the structure crafting, right? By putting blocks and in inventories uh, with items in a three by three area behind the st uh, structure crafter and applying a redstone signal to it, whatever those blocks or items in that shape would make in a crafting grid will come out in front of it. This is curious to me and I'm trying to understand it, but I don't. So um structured structure crafter um it's only one page what's that block actually called structured crafter that's what i was just looking up right this guy okay so that's two cobble two iron four sticks and a crafting table we can knock that out all day so there's wood Nope. Um, four sticks and two iron. And what else am I missing? Crafting table. Four, four, and two. What was the other two items? Oh, and then cobble. There we go. Let's make you up. And let's see if I can figure this out by the explanation of it. So if you apply a redstone signal, it says behind it. So, okay, I can't click on it or anything. So what is a, okay, let's try cobble. Right, so this should make a furnace if I do this, right? Three by three, right? And I know I've got a button or a lever around here somewhere that I put away, there we go. And let's read this again. By putting blocks or inventories with items in a three by three area <clears throat> behind the structure crafter and applying a redstone signal to it, whatever those blocks or items in that shape would make in a crafting grid will come out the front of it. Now, I don't know what the back and the front is. There's no like definitive characteristics or anything like that on this. No, is it wood? It's not fast with either of them, so. I'm a bit curious here on um, what exactly it wants. So let's try this in a chest. Let's grab our chest here. And we'll put you right here. I don't know what side's supposed to be the back. 
Hold on, wait. If I... I'm noticing the arrow, right? Arrow points down. I'm, and I'm thinking that means down, but if I put you like... The, ah, so this is the front. This is the back. Oh, okay. Crafting grid. Okay. If this... If it's all this work just to uh, make a furnace, I'm going to be a little upset. Okay. And let's move you out of the way. So you should just output... Well, Let's see if I, if I put the chest there and put the button here. Nope. But if I move this, I applied a redstone signal. So is this supposed to be in the middle? Is this supposed to be up a block? That's my last guess here. Um... Let me, oh, I got that water stone on me. Just like I need a building block. Um, so you, you, that's got a pretty stone actually. And you, like that. Like that, is this what I need to do? And then apply a redstone signal to you? That's interesting. I mean, it's kind of cool. And kind of like, why? I, I <coughs> <coughs> That's the best question I can ask. Why? Why in the world would I want this? You guys, please tell me. Uh, a smart, intelligent, and awesome use for that. Please. I'd be curious to see what you guys could come up with. Because it's fun. But I'm not seeing a very useful yeah I don't know that just seems kind of strange to me um, let me throw this away I don't want the eye patch I don't want the pirate hat I don't even want the button and can I put you guys away I can't put you away is there any junk I really don't need in here um, oh I can take the gold out and put you in there we go put the gold over here this chest is just getting bigger and bigger awesome Okay, so, well, I mean, accomplishments are accomplishments. That's always cool, right? But uh, achievements or whatever. Um, Magenta runic dust. Is this the stuff that you can write on the ground with? Um, I'm kind of like pixel by pixel. So I can do like an SH. Is this? I didn't want you to connect like that. You've ruined my day. This is not what I wanted. It just keeps connecting everything. I mean, that's kind of fun, but... Oh, hold on. Can I use this like a crafting grid? If I do that, I'm just wondering. Runic dust. Can I use you like a craft... Can I place items in you? Because if you notice, it's taking the shape of a crafting grid. And I can't do anything else with it. Um, nope. You just seem like a big old waste of time. Well, I'm going to leave you there. That's my fake crafting grid. Okay. It's to fool people who come and join me. Um, okay. So we've got that done. Um, definitely want to get up to the diamond spikes for the mob farm as well as some vector plates. Um, I just learned about vector plates on Lost Souls and I think they're really, really cool. I think they're a little bit more efficient than what I'm used to, which is conveyor belts. So I like that about them. Um, so I need to get that going faster. I might need to make some more soul snad or something more snad um hmm maybe all along right here and get rid of old dirt chest 9000 over here that might be what i do but not right now right now we are going to look at the spikes that's what we're going to look at spikes so the wooden spikes are pretty cheap and easy right um i need four of them cool three planks a wood and three wooden swords okay so let's grab a whole bunch of you real quick. Let's just grab a stack of sticks so I don't have to mess with this too much. So one, two, three. And make some planks. Good enough. Good enough for government work. And there you go. Three swords. Thank you. And you. You, you, you. You, you, and you. Good. Got the wooden ones. Now, I don't think stone was one of them, was it? Stone wasn't one of them, was it? Oh, it is stone spikes. 
Okay, cool. So let's look at stone spikes. That is a compressed cobble with cobble and swords. There we go. Doot, doot, doot. One, two. And there's the swords. And there's the compressed. And you, you, and you. And you. Hold on, I made three swords, didn't I? Didn't I just make three swords? I could have sworn I did. Maybe I only made two. Maybe I'm a knucklehead. That's probably the most likely situation. Okay, so there's those. What other spikes did I need? Um, I need the gold spikes and the diamond spikes. All right, let's check out the recipe for gold spikes. That is a block of gold. Three ingot. Okay, so that's six, seven, eight, nine. That's 18 gold. And Mr. Snowman is back at it again. Who are you attacking? You're attacking over here now. Who are you attacking? I don't see anybody. I mean, I'm glad you're, you've got my back, dude. I'm glad you're on the defensive, but who are you attacking? I, I don't... He was attacking um, uh, a, a guardian on this side one time. I think in the last episode he was attacking a <laughs> baby zombie pigman. So he, he, he does... He does defend this fort with his honor. Bye. Um, okay, so... Back to the lesson at hand here. Okay, there's that... What are you doing? One, two, three. And doot, doot, doot. Swords. And let's make that. There we go. Golden spikes. And now for the diamond spikes. That's where we're going to come up short. Uh, nine. Oh, yeah. I just did 18. I need 18 diamonds. I have four. So I guess we're going to stop short at that point right there. But we can start looking into the vector plates. I don't need a lot. Let me let me go double check the size of my mob farm over here. See how many vector plates I need. If I put spikes, um, I guess I could put them right here and sort into a chest. So this is one, two, three, four. So it's seven long, three wide. I need 21 vector plates. I need 20 vector plates. Okay. And it's an achievement, so we're going to do them anyways, but... It'd be a, a good start to get 20 of them. So let's look up the vector plates. I'm not 100% sure of the recipe. Vector plates. It's uh, slime, two iron. Oh, that'll give me eight. So eight, 16, 24. I just need three recipes. So three sugar, three stone, six iron, or six stone, six iron. All right. So got you. Does it have to be stone? I've got plenty of slime. Right? Um, does it have to be stone? It does have to be stone. And I need one more sugar. Hurry up and grow. Hurry up and grow. And I've got stone in here. One, two, six of them, right? Yeah. Hurry up and grow. Hurry up and grow. This doesn't work on you. So... You need to do your thing, like, soon. I don't think I put any sugar cane away. I hadn't farmed it, and it was doing funny things and glitching out on me, so. Um, well, I can make the first two batches. I guess that's something we can do. There's 16 of them. And <clears throat> we're going to get... Eventually, I want diamonds, right? Uh, diamond plates. But for right now... Let me see. We're going to push to right here. The spikes are going to be right here. Everything's going to fall. So you, you, you. There you go. You guys all push that way. I'm going to have pretty close to what I need. This is going to be... Come on, dude. Okay, cool. Yeah, and then the one more batch, I'll be able to put them right here. Everything will push right to the middle. Let me grab that heart. Come here, hurt. Of course you're in the middle. Of course you are. And then, yeah, so we can put the spikes right up here. And then we'll collect the drops. How? I don't know. Is there some type of, like, hopper that I can make? Um, oh, yeah, I guess I can just do a normal hopper. Ha! Uh, the magical hoppers don't exist yet, but I can just make a normal hopper. And all of them will drop in there. 
I know the gold spikes. I don't, okay, drops experience, but it won't drop the player drops, right? Um, that's a half a heart, and that's just regular. So yeah, so the gold spikes will work for right now. Where's the sugar at? Come on, man. Come on. Well, let's get the achievement done. We'll, we'll, we'll come back to that. We've got a whole bunch of loot chests to claim. Automation going pretty quickly, I must say. Um, yeah, because I think those loot bags are player drops, right? I believe you could only get the loot bags. Really? Compact raw pork chop. What is up with all this bobblicious kind of nonsense stuff? I don't get it. Why do I keep getting you? I don't want you. I don't want you. I don't want you. And I don't want you. You guys need to go away. Sugarcane, thank you. All right, cool. Now we've got everything we need to make all the plates. And I can start auto-killing my mobbies. So you two and you two. All right, let's go put the rest of these vector plates in. And I'll have a few extra. I don't know, for fun stuff. I don't know. Maybe I'll put them on here to speed me up. I'll, I'll do a two-way road. The really fast vector plates eventually <laughs> to take me here and the other ones to bring me back. Okay, so... Come on, guys. There we go. Um, Alright. Guess I'm going to have to kill you guys. You're making me kill you. I wasn't trying to. I was trying to let you guys just do your thing. But you're driving me to it. Alright, so... Plate there, plate there. And... Oh, can I do this? Nope, it's, I'm not going to be able to. I have to pick those two up and do this. There we go. So all the items are going to push right here. Then I can put a hopper in. Can I, without even opening this, can I build this whole thing without actually opening <coughs> the mob farm? That would be kind of awesome. Oh, no, I didn't want that. So is the the hopper going to have to be the middle block? Or will those get it? Is that all the way up? That's all the way up. Um, so can I put the hopper right here? That's the question. I don't need this row of blocks anymore. Those all become useless. Well, not useless, but unnecessary. That's the word I'm looking for. Unnecessary. All right, so I don't want to hurt myself, but I'm going to. Can I put a hopper here? Is it technically? It's technically in this block right here. Um, can I put a hopper on? Hey. Wait a minute. Are these items going to stop? I'm going to need like three hoppers. It's, am I going to, the way I set this up, am I, no, I'll just take the spike out. That's what I'll do. I'll take that spike out. That, okay. That will work. So you, you, and you. Now, there we go. Now you guys should all be good. All right. So I got to remove these vector plates to put the other one back down. There we go. And <laughs> well, I mean, technically I was able to do it without getting into the mob farm, but I make mistakes. We all know I make mistakes. Anybody who's ever watched me play Minecraft knows I make mistakes. Um, let's just, yeah, we'll pick you up. There we go. Vector plate, right? There and there. And then I need one more on that side. I probably can put it from the side. I'm assuming it can. You're just going to have to stay there. And we'll do this. And you should be pointing. Hey! You should be pointing the right direction if I put you right here. Yeah, okay, cool. Then I put a hopper here. And right into a chest. All right, cool. Let's go make a hopper and test this out. 
we'll see how well this works. Um, I need a way to collect their experience too, because that's going to probably drop frames with all the potential lagginess. So we'll see how that goes. Um, oh, I've got wood on me. One, two, three, four. Make you. Oh, I just needed two. But okay. So hopper. Let me grab some five iron. One, two, three, four, five. And. Bink, bink. And you know what? This might be the good place to use the diamond chest for right now. That might be a good place to do that. Until I get better storage. I could. I could put the magma storage in. Oh, uh, I, a creeper died already. Um, just so I can move freely around here. Okay, so... You're right there, so I want the hopper right here, and the chest, oh, I guess I'll just put the chest right here. Um, this block, right? Yeah, so chest right there, hopper right there, like so. I'm off one. Oh my goodness. How am I off one? How did I do that? All right, so chest right there hopper right there and that should work that should work it should put all the items in there and now we've automated killing not a hundred percent efficient yet and i'm kind of running up to the end of the episode right now actually we're kind of past the end of the episode let me 8 16 24 20 is what i said i needed yeah so we're good i got all my vector plates back let me see if I can collect experience somehow. Uh, there's the experience rod that goes with the experience obelisk, but I'm figuring, uh, solarium, yeah, I can't do that one. Um, experience solidifier, that's unfamiliar items. There's gotta be a way to pick up experience right now. Um, Dark utilities monolith of experience, that's pearl brick and I don't know what that stuff is. Um, yeah, it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to collect the experience. I'll just have to run over there every now and then. Uh, Tome of uh, Book Used to Store Experience. Well, that's blood magic, so that's obviously out of the question. I think experience collection is going to be out of the question for the time being. What are these? Um, Armor Plus? Working in progress. Yeah, I, <clears throat> I guess it. We'll just... We'll get the mob drops, but we will have to go over there and collect the experience whenever we can. Um, I didn't see, I didn't check the F7 on this to make sure if this is still all dark. Should probably do that. Um, F7. I mean, I didn't change any of these blocks, so it should be good. I'm assuming it's going to be good. And this is just going to bother me. I don't like floating items. I love slabbing around and stuff like that, but I don't like floating items. And yeah, I mean, I guess I'm, I'm, I'm guessing it's good. It hasn't been died yet. Nothing's died. So we'll give it a second and we'll see how that goes. But I think today was pretty productive. I mean, we got some stuff done. Um, definitely, you know, continue with our progress. I mean, heck I got, most of this section done. All I have left is the diamond spikes, which means I just got to go start pounding away at some uh, compressed stone, but I can do that off camera and then we can make the diamond spikes, you know, later. And then the other thing I need is the bag opener, but until, see, it says, if you have an automatic farm, you probably have a huge influx of loot bags. You can make a bag opener to automatically open them. That's kind of cool. Cause then if we start getting a surplus of regular items, I can start filtering them out and, Yes, mob killing will be automated soon enough. But until next time, travelers, y'all know the deal. Why are you open? When did I open you? <clears throat> until next time, travelers, y'all know the deal. I'm Slaughter Havoc, and I'm out of here. Peace.